Now in this video we will going to uh, take up uh, one more problem on the projections of points how to draw this by using solitary software. The point capital G is 25 mm below HP and is situated in the third quadrant. Its shorter distance from the intersection of XY and X1, Y1 is 45 mm. Draw its projections and find its distance from VP. So to do that, first we'll go for the solid rate screen, right click on the sheet 1, go to sheet setup, select on A4, don't show the background and say OK and then you just go to view and fit it. Now, similarly you just go to zoom area and uh, bring that near to the screen and then go to home. So you just click on annotation and uh, take it to uh, new times new roman and take the font size as 4 and here type uh, problem number 8 so here a point capital G a point capital G is uh, 25 mm below HP and is situated in third quadrant in third quadrant its shortest distance from the intersection of x, y and you can take uh, x1, y1 is 45 mm. You just draw its projections and uh, find its distance, find its distance from Vp. Okay. Now you just go to select, you just click on this uh, and go to properties and uh, make it indent and make it one and a half line spacing and then say OK. Now you just go to view or you just uh, go to view and click on fit now. So once you do that, now you come down to this and you draw the x, y and x1, y1 line. So to do that, now you just go to sketching, go to line and set this as 0 0.05 because all the projector lines will be of 0 0.05 and click on enable endpoint and uh, intersection and uh, horizontal or vertical by going into the interface sketch and if you are using uh, solid edge uh, version 18 or 19 you just go to view click on interface sketch and from there you need to do this since you are, we are using st9 so obviously we are getting directly here so first I am going to draw a horizontal line of any distance and then you take vertical distance of any distance. So here I need to take LPP and VHP and VP. So to do that, so you just go to home, you click on sketching and you take LPP here by putting the caps lock on and you mark this as HP and you mark this as VP. Then you just go to sketching and go to move and select this and move it, place it wherever you want, HP and then go to LPP. Then you just go to zoom area, then again you just go to move and place it nearer to this. Okay, once you do that, now I need to go for uh, view and click on fit now. So now. I will just go to draw this any distance line, horizontal line. So go to line, sketching, go to line, take some distance away from the x1, y1 line and draw a vertical line. Then he says 420 mm, 25mm below F, HP, you just go to offset, take a distance as 25mm and below HP you take it and go to trim corner between these two now. Then go to circle and take the intersection of these two and the shorter distance is always seen in the profile view. Take the radius as 45. Then go to split, split this uh, circle and uh, you split it here. Then you split this here. Then go to erase. So erase this circle and this entity. Then go to line and take intersection part of these two and draw 100 mm angle minus, sorry, minus, no, it is 135. Counterclockwise direction is positive and then go to line. And again you take intersection part of this and, sorry, again you take the intersection part of this. Take intersection point of this 
and draw a vertical line. So here it's not taken exactly. No. Then go to line, take int of these two and draw a horizontal line. Now you just go to trim corner between these two and the trim corner between these two. Then go to split, split this line till here and then you split this line till here, you split this line till here, split this line till here and you split this line till here and then go to trim corner between these two now. Then by holding the shift key, maintain the multiple selections on, on all these uh, four, five sides and remove this. Now we go for a point, go to point and uh, take the font uh, line width as two. Take the end part of this and then you take the end part of this and then you take the end part of this. So once you do that, now what we need to do, G, G dash and G double dash, we want to place it. Go to home, click on annotation, you take it as G and here you make it as G dash and here you make it as G double dash. And once again, you mark this as capital X and capital Y and you make it as X1 and then Y1. Once you do that, go to select, select multiple selection X, Y and X1, Y1 and make it that as 0.13. Now you just go to move and uh, you just move this and sorry, you go to sketch, click on move, you take this and place it here. Similarly, you take it here. So Y, then you take it G dash, then Y1, then G double dash, then uh, you have X and you have. So all these things are been done. Now we need to go for home, click on dimensioning variables. So you set this ISO, go to modify, go to general make all these things are black okay so that means our uh, printout should be of what uh, nature so font we are going to take of uh, times new roman okay and the font size as 4 and here it is parallel and above lines and ordinates you make it 0.1 and say okay and say apply so now we go for the dimensioning. So you just come down to distance between these two. So automatically you will going to get it as 25. Then we want to give the dimension between this line and uh, this line. Okay. So you will going to get it as 45. You just take it as 45. Then you want to have the angular line between this line and this line, which will going to give you. 45 degrees so okay so you just type 45 and then uh, you drag this and place it uh, wherever you want so once you do that then uh, uh, we would need to give this dimension so to do that you just go to font go to nominal blanket select between these two so you will go to get this dimension and here you just go to home, click on this text, you type L equals question mark. Then you just go to sketching and then go to rotate. Rotate this uh, with respect to the horizontal and you make it vertical. Then go to move, select this and place it. Now you just select this and delete this because it is rotate, copying has been taken place. Now when you want to measure this dimension, Go to home, click on, uh, sorry, go to sketching, click on dimensioning variable. Here I want to have up to the second decimal point. So you just measure between these two. So if you go to the blank and make it nominal, so you're going to get it as 37.42. What is the dimension what you have here is also 37.42. So this is how you'll be able to get the answer for this. And then you just go to move, move this and place it wherever you want. Then finally, I want to write the text. So here you type answers. And here I will say L is equal to 37.42 mm. 
So now finally you just go to sketch, click on line and here it has taken for 0.2 sorry, 0.2 uh, mm. So now I'm going to set it for uh, 0.05 and you just uh, take this and you make it in the box then go to trim corner between these two. So then go to move, disable copy, so you just go to answers. So now I need to write the text uh, dimensioning uh, the projection directions of projections I want to show. So to do that you just go to uh, point on element and go to home, click on leader, you project this uh, from here to here and then you project this from here to here and then you project this from here to here and then you just come down to sketching and disable the point on element the point on element has to be enabled only whenever it is required and then in the rest of the cases it should be disabled so this is how you will be able to get the, find the solution or return the solution by using the AutoCAD software so here XY line will going to have 0.13 mm thickness and yet all other projector lines including this 45 degree line will be having 0.05. So this is how you will be able to solve this problem in the projections of points in third quadrant with the shortest distance given. Thank you.